Hello and welcome to the Lockdown Diaries. Today is day 20 of the UK lockdown. Um, I think we're due to find out in a couple of days whether this is going to be extended, which I expect it will be. So my name is Anakin and I live in Cornwall in the southwest of England. And as you can see, I'm in my garden. Um, my husband's been doing loads of gardening lately. Our garden is quite big, bearing in mind we live in a town, it's fairly big but it's very neglected. Um, I can't do any gardening because I have problems with my back um, and also with my knees at the moment and but my back causes a lot of pain if I do any gardening. Um, my husband and I, neither of us are making gardeners so the garden tends to be ignored a lot but because my husband is, even though he's working from home, he doesn't have as much work to do as normal. He's doing a lot of gardening at the moment. Um, at the moment it's mainly just tidying up and weaving and stuff and he has not tackled that flower bed yet as you can see um i think that's probably the next on his list uh, this week if the weather carries on it's been so fortunate with the weather weather's been absolutely gorgeous uh it's easter sunday today i've been doing lots of knitting in the garden this weekend uh very 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 privileged to have this garden um it's fairly quiet where we live uh, there aren't any main roads nearby or anything uh, so you can hear neighbours cutting their grass and doing gardening and that kind of thing but on the whole it's fairly quiet here so we're quite fortunate. So I've been sitting in the garden doing loads of knitting. Um, I finished a pair of socks which I'll show you now. So I finished my socks. Um, these were knitted in a sparkly yarn. I can't remember which who the dyer is right now but I will try and add the link below this video but I knitted them from the toe up with a swirly toe um, and a swirly afterthought heel from my Aventuras pattern I made the leg quite a bit longer than normal about 100 rounds normally I do about 80 and I also made the uh, afterthought heel uh, I work a few plain rounds before I do the shaping and I made that about five rounds longer than normal just to see how that would affect fit so yeah, I'm quite happy with them and uh, just cast on a new pair of socks as soon as I finish these this afternoon. So since I've finished those pair of sparkly socks, I cast on for a new pair of socks in um, La Bien Amie. I don't know whether that's how I pronounce it. It's a French brand. They're based in Paris um, and the base is MCN Light and that is 80% merino, 10% cashmere and 10% nylon. Um, I thought the merino was super wash, which I just realised is not. Um, so maybe not the best yarn for socks. Slightly worried about how it's going to wash. I don't think I'll machine wash it. I think I'll probably hand wash it. I mainly wear socks at night um, because I get really cold feet. So even in the summer, I wear socks at night um, because if my feet get cold, I get cramped and then I wake up. So I do wear, mainly wear them at night, so they don't get dirty as such. Um, so hand washing will be fine, I think. Um, so I'm knitting these top down. I did a slightly longer rib than normal. Normally I do 20 rounds of rib if I'm doing stock and stitch socks. I do do a lot of socks where I do rib for the whole sock. On this one I decided to do 30 rounds of rib and then the rest in stock and stitch. Um, just because... It gets a bit tedious doing rib for the whole one. I've just done a pair of rib socks, so I'm doing this in stocking stitch, which will be a bit quicker. So I cast this on yesterday, um, and um, I'll show you a little clip from when I cast on yesterday and uh, the first few rounds. Yeah.
um, is my brioche uh, lockdown brioche school I think is the official name um, it's by Robin Weldon can you hear the um, birds noise we got a lot of birds in our garden and they're very very noisy uh, so I don't know whether you can hear it um, but they are very very noisy birds so I'm doing the brioche lockdown school um, it's getting a bit more difficult now I'm just going to see if I can show you the picture what it's supposed to look like but I can't oh there we go so lesson three I think I'm on which was a choice between um so it started off fairly simple just single um color brioche at the bottom and then two color brioche and then um alternating colors to create patterns so I think that's called syncopated brioche something like that for this section and then now we've started adding increases and decreases to create uh, lines so that's a little bit more difficult um there's a choice between a simple lines pattern and a leaves pattern i think it is so i did the simple lines pattern which is this one from about here um, that's one repeat of the simple lines pattern um, so now i thought i'd have a go at the leaves the simple leaves pattern which that's kind of what that's supposed to look like so I'm just going back to start that now. I was a little bit, I was looking at it before I came outside and I was a little bit confused about what I was supposed to do next. Um, but I think I worked it out. So I'm going to start doing that now and I'll see you a little clip of that at the end of this video. So I hope you're having a good Easter weekend wherever you are, that you're staying safe and well. And um, whether you're in lockdown, um, like you're in the UK, or whether you have a little bit more freedom, I hope you enjoy yourself and um, stay safe and well and I'll see you next time.